Hi, welcome to Rice Up Appliances. This is a video to show you the customer the difference between condenser tumble dryers and vented tumble dryers. It's a question we get asked all the time in the shop, so we thought we'd do a little video for you. Condenser tumble dryers have a vessel inside them somewhere where the water is collected and when a light comes on at the front, usually container or empty container, you take this to the sink and you empty it out. A vented tumble dryer doesn't have a container. It usually has a large flexible elephant trunk type hose here, which, if you can come around here, connects onto either the back of the tumble dryer, or there is sometimes the option to move the spigot to the side so you can vent from the side. There are some tumble dryers that have venting from both sides. This specific Bosch one is from the rear or as you're facing it, the left hand side. With the condenser tumble dryer on the Bosch machines, there's a nice feature that you can have where you can buy an optional plumbing kit, which is this, which connects into the back of the tumble dryer here and instead of pumping the water up to the vessel in the top of the machine it will push it out of this waste pipe so you can connect it to your plumbing at home. So the differences of how they operate. Both of these tumble dryers are sensor dryers. The sensor dryer instead of you telling it how long to dry for will have a preset level of dryness and inside there's a humidity sensor which monitors the level of moisture inside it and will stop the machine when it reaches that preset level of dryness. So if we put these two on, this vented dryer on cotton's covered extra dry, you can see it's anticipating that will take two hours and 18 minutes. On the condenser dryer, we put it on the cotton's very dry, which is the same program. It's gonna say that's gonna take an hour and 59 minutes. So from that, we can see the condenser dryer is gonna be faster the vented dryer is going to be slightly longer. Now, confusingly, the condenser dryer averages 504 kilowatt hours per annum of electricity and is B energy rated, whereas the vented tumble dryer will average 482 kilowatt hours, so less energy, but is in actual fact a C energy rated, so not as technically efficient as the condenser Bosch. Now you have to bear in mind that you can't compare the energy efficiency between a vented and a condenser dryer. You must compare the energy efficiency with other condenser or other vented dryers. Quality is the same. Both these machines come with the manufacturer's two year parts and labour warranty. Looking inside there are some subtle differences. The condenser dryer is featured with the polished stainless steel drum which will reduce the amount of static on your drying to make sure that it's less ironing. Whereas the vented dryer has the galvanized drum, which will generate slightly more static and therefore you'll be ironing for slightly longer. Filters are both nice, easy access on the front here. This is a small filter. You just clean the fluff out there on the condenser dryer it's a slightly larger one which opens up it's double the area and you clean that through now the condenser lives down here and it's basically a metal matrix that the hot air passes over and when your hot air passes over that metal matrix it condenses back into water droplets which is collected at the back and then on this machine either pumped up to the vessel here where you empty or if you've engaged the diverter and fitted the optional plumbing kit, it will push it out of the waste pipe there. It's important to make sure you do clean the condenser periodically. We'd recommend every 10 drying cycles, give it a rinse under the sink with nice and hot water and you'll get some fluff out of it. You will notice if you're not very good at cleaning the lint filter here, this will overflow and block the condenser. If you don't clean the condenser and you're not very diligent at cleaning either machine's lint filters, it will make the tumble dryer less efficient. So it's very important to keep your filters clean in your machine. Literally, 
after every wash or every dry I should say if you clean that lint filter it will dramatically improve the efficiency just get this one even right way around of your tumble dryer there we go that one's that locked back in place well hope you've enjoyed that information video from Rice Appliances we should have some more online please give us a look back soon